डॉक्टर मुद्रा रिलैक्स योर फेशियल मजल्स लेट क्लोज योर बॉडी टू ओम का रस ठीक है डीप ब्रेथिंग shoulders elbows inhaling slowly come up exhale bring down good day we'll practice for the anumana sana breathing for that stretch your right leg back स्ट्रेटन युअर एल्बोज See. Let close your body. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Push your chin forward. Drop your head. Elbows near your body. First day, inhale, stretch up, look up, exhale, slowly come up. Let's do it. Other side. See, to turn this foot. Lock your foot here. This should come in one line. Both arms hanging in one line. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Straighten your elbows. Look up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. 
So we will come back and then separate your knees. Relax for a while. Slowly come up back to standing posture. Rock your shoulders. And come hand stretch breathing. Join your foot. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Rock your shoulders each time. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch. This is horizontal stretch. Exhale. Rock your shoulders, elbows, last time. Now, for 35 degree oblique stretch. Synchronize your breathing with your hand movement. <coughs> stretch, exhale. Inhale. Stretch up. Do it slowly. Don't hurry. Last time. Next, we'll move on to vertical stretch. For that, turn your palm flat. Touch your nose. Go ahead, stretch up, sucking your abdomen, exhale, inhale, stretch, exhale, <coughs> inhale, Turn your palm here, touch your nose, forehead, stretch up, your shoulder blades will come nearer, exhale, open up your chest, straighten your elbows, biceps stretching the air, <coughs> last time. As usual, forward backward bending. First, to start gently and then pick up the speed, swing your hand, exhale, inhale, exhale. Do not bend your elbows, do not bend your knees. Last time. Next, side bending. Separate your legs. <coughs> Bend sideways. Foot should be parallel. These are losing practices. Bend 
build as much as you can do not bend forward or backward see no bending and twisting twist <coughs> come back inhale come up exhale bend twist back come up bend twist See, look at my palms. See, open up, inhale, bend, exhaling, touch, then come up, bend, twist, come back, come up. Breathing, breathe out. It should be parallel, remember. See now, alternate toe touching. Look up. Turn your waist. Bend as much as you can. Will come up. Now we we'll do foot twist. Let close your body. Mainly you have to exhale. Back each time. No, <coughs> opposite twist. Two. And shoulder level. You can hold like this also. You doesn't have space to move. Stop the practice. Just relaxing. Shitila Tadasana and observe your breath. Your body is being ready to do the asanas. Today let's do dynamic practice. Stalking. Food. Make fist of your palms. Keep it firm on your chest and start slow talking. Open your mouth. And slow talking. Now back. Again, slow talking. Sideways. Slow talking. See? Stop the practice. No, immediately do Mukha Dhoti. 
forceful exhalation from your mouth throughout the excess heat produced in your body, cleansing through mouth, mukhadhauti. Sit and relax. Shitila Dandasana. Support your elbow to the back, in the back. Don't collapse your body. You can move your neck anywhere, like front to back sides. Relax your legs. Relax until your breathing comes to normal. No, quickly practice butterfly losing. That's it. Here it is. <coughs> See, today let's practice Ardha Virasana variations with doing the legs. Fold your right leg. So it should be outside, back straight. Do not tilt your body. This toe should point it towards you. Normalize your breathing. Knee should be joined preferably. Then turn. Raise your back. This is twisting in Artha Virasana. It's not Vajrasana, it's a Virasana or warrior posture. Both shoulders should come in one line. Look back. You should be aware of your whole body while doing the asanas in the final posture. Just close your eyes and then feel the changes in your body. See, do not take your hand like this. It should be near your back. Then shoulder should be hit back. Elbow should be straight. Slowly release. So next we will practice the forward bending. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bend down. So now try to touch your forehead to the knee. Put your elbow down. Or chin on the knee. See, this toe should be pointing towards you so that you will get the beautiful stretch in your calf muscles and hamstring muscles to the Try to put your elbow down. Forward bending in the Virasana. 
शिदर पर गए Then you can practice Nihe Stretch up Next seat Nihe Try to touch your knee to the forehead Next seat Without bending your leg Last time these all are the variations of Radha Virasana. Don't change the posture. If you have pain in your ankle tone, you can just put one pillow or some packing below your ankle. See then, you just see in Radha Virasana, you have to move this leg. This knee should be pointed front. Then try to put your elbow down. Turn your face. Look up. This elbow should be down as much as possible. You can feel the twisting effect in your waist. Look up. Look up the ceiling. Slowly come back, stretch. Turn your palm. Yes. Next, we will practice Sukta Uddha Virasana for that. Just come on, your elbows. Drop your head. This is Ardha Paryankasana. Then gently try to rest your crown of your head down. Then, like this. This is Ardha Paryankasana. It's very good for your back. Now finally, release your head and then stretch your hand up. Your knee should be joint. Do not lift your right thigh. Press it down. Now try to catch your ankle. Come up straight. With the support of your hands. Slowly, this is the posture. This is the Virasana variations. Next, let's practice with the other leg. Hold your left knee. See, toes should be pointing towards you. Both knees should be joined. You can see me here. Then, two, twisting. Turn more. Look back. This toe should be pointing towards you. Knee should be joined. Learn the technique properly. Turn back. As much as possible. You can catch your heel. So deep it is. Now let's do forward bending. Inhale, exhale. Now stay there. You should be joined. Press your knee down. Do not compromise with your knees. Very powerful posture. Slowly come up with a stretch. Nice. 
Next, you can practice. So, you can just see from the front also. Stretch up. Do this. Let's see it down. Chin on the knee. Stretch up. Try to touch your forehead to the knee. Release. It's a very good stretch in your calf muscles and hamstring muscles. Then try to put your forehead to the knee. Release. Last time. Release your leg. Then just do not disturb this knee. Take your leg this side. Bend forward. Try to put your elbow down. Try to twist. Come on. Take a stretch. Then finally, let's practice. Sukta Vardhavirasana. Drop your head, push your chest up, then gently put your crown of your head down, clasp your hands back, press your left knee to the floor, then finally release your head, stretch up. Try your knees, toes pointing towards you. So to get the complete benefit of the asana or asana siddhi, you have to follow the technique properly. And then breathing also. Do as much as you can. Then just with your elbow support, slowly come up. Release your leg. Again. Relaxing. Shitra Dandasana. Today we have practiced all the variations of Artha Virasana. Virasana is a warrior posture. So now, so we come to the standing posture. Separate your legs. Relax for a bit. So you can just relax your knees also. If you feel any uneasiness in your knees, you can just relax, front and back. Relax your waist also. Anytime you are allowed to relax your knees and waist whenever you feel like. So, a little bit exertion in your back. You should be very careful about your joints also. You should not harm them. Listen to your body. Do as much as you can. Today, let's practice Prasarita. Father, Astasana, Father, separate your leg. Again, foot should be parallel. Stretch your hand sideways. Adjust your foot. Turn your palm. Still up. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Bend halfway to front. Still there, bend, then very gently put your hand down. See, wherever you reach, you have to put that on me. Do not, now you have to move your body a little front, adjust your foot, then put your elbow down. Inhale, come up, exhale. 
Mm -hmm. Try to put your head down, take your hands in. Do not bend at your knees. Preferably, your head should come in between your foot. You are allowed to bend your elbow, but not your knee. You can do Namaskar Mudra also. Those who are having hypertension or high BP, please do not stay for longer time. Be careful. You can take the support of wall or pillar also. Then you can stretch up. Then put your hand down. All forward bending postures are very good for the calming down of your mind. Slowly come up. Gently bring your legs near. Come halfway. Then come up straight. Stretch up. And sideways. Turn your palm, release. How powerful is that posture? Prasarita, Ada, Vastasana. Try to remember the names of the practices. It will give very good stretch in your legs. All standing postures have very good impact on your legs. It's tendon, your thighs, the knees, foot, ankles. You should relax in between two practices for 15 to 20 seconds. So then we can try for Natarajasana, lift your thigh up, try to maintain the balance, other side, lift up, Natarajasana, release, it is a powerful back bending and balancing and just observe, you have to lift your thigh up as much as possible, then lift it aside, do not bend forward. Your thigh should come parallel to the floor. Lift up. Slowly relax. Other side. So lifting your thigh up is very important. Lift up. Release. Once again, relax your knees, front and back. You should be gentle on your body. Relax your waist. So next, let us practice as usual, sun salutation. Surya Namaskara. For that, let's start with the prayer. Join your foot. See? Forearm should be parallel to the floor. Iranimayena patrena satyasya pihitam mukham Tatvam Pushan Apagrunu Satya Dharma Yadrishtay Om Kham Mitra Yadamaha
पूरी तरह से वेरी गुड स्ट्रेच इन युअर राइट इन द Head to heel one line, the front, the activity, Mani Kora Chakra. You can feel the activation in there. So now, put your knees down. Shishan Tasana. Elbows down, buttocks down, forehead down. Slowly come up. Put your toes. नमस्कार नमस्कार मित्र चतरी बॉडी नव दश एकदश द्वादश ओ ब्रीदिंग Breathe out. Breathing. The front. Breathe out. We are practicing with breathing now. Follow the breathing properly. Breathing. Knees down. Release your toes. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Put your toes. Breathe out. Next, breathe in. Lift your knees up. Push your waist down. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing. Breathing. 
putting those two. What do you think? What do you talk? One more round, we'll practice with Bija Mantra in the names of Sun God. Om Shri Savitra Surya Narayana Yenamaha Om Ram Mitra Yenamaha Repeat after me. Om Rim Ravai Namaha Om Rum Surya Yenamaha Om Rim Anavi Namaha Om Raum Kagaya Namaha Om Raha Pushmi Namaha Om Raham Iranigarpaya Namaha Om Dheem Marijayi Namaha Om Rum Aditya Yanamaha Om Rahim Savitri Namaha Om Raum Sarka Yanamaha Om Raha Bhaskara Yanamaha there is so the Naskara practices for today. So now let's relax in Makarasana. Prone relaxing posture. Separate your legs. Knees facing each other. Today let's practice Dhanurasana, bow posture, join your legs, stretch your hands forward, this is the attention of Skiti, then hold both legs, catch your ankles, normalize your breathing, inhale, lift up, try to lift your thaya. Stay there. Try to maintain the posture with normal breathing. It's very good to expand your lungs. Very good for your back, for shoulders, thighs. The whole body is activated here. So diligent. Once again, try this posture. Inhaling, lift up. No. Try to swing your body. Then try to roll your body. This is a very good massage to your abdominal muscle. Slowly release. Separate your legs. Chin on the cross the point of your forearms. Heels facing each other. Relax. Enjoy your legs. 
this brackets blank see class your fingers with your paste stay there your vision can be print or your fingers stay there Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Then you can just try to do radiation. Okay, lift up. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Inhale. Do not touch the middle part of the body to the floor. Should be only on forearms, elbow joint, and then toes. Raise your back. Lift up, lift up. Lift up. Last time. Inhale. Let's see. Slowly release the posture, relax back. You can turn your body and then relax in supine posture. Separate your legs, let loose your body. If you are following each of my instructions, you can really feel the effect of the practices and changes in your body. See, today let's practice Ananta Shainasana breathing for that. See, from elbow to toe, it should be one leg. Adjust your body. Press your palm in front of your chest. Inhale. Lift up. Straight. Should be like a stick. Exhale down. Each time try to adjust your body. So again, inhaling, stretch up. You can point your toes also. Exhale very gently. Again, inhale. Let's see. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last time, breathe in. Try to catch your big toe. Maintain the balance. If possible, try to pull it near your head. Without bending at your knee, slowly release. Before you we move on to the next practice, just relax for a while, holding your knees. Then once again come back to Ananta Shrinasana. This posture itself is called Ananta Shayanasana. So now, inhale, lift up, exhale, front. Now to give very good stretch in your legs. 
you need not remove your hand just to press your palm lift your leg up again exhale down inhale up exhale inhale up exhale it should come as much as up inhale lift up see other leg should not move exhale normally other leg moves you have to be aware of your whole body slowly sit back now let's do one more practice sit back it's very good for your back you can feel that do not push your body front upper body exhale inhale sit back exhale sit back again this sit back this last time sit back stay there this no okay hold your legs and relax let's do it other side Lie down on the other side. The sit and face, Paranta Shena Sana. Palm should be here, leg under on the other. So inhale, lift up straight. Exhale down. Inhale. Toes pointing towards you. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Straighten. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Try to catch your big toe. Stay there for a while. Then gently pull your leg towards your head. Slowly release. Pull us back. And then relax back in. Balasana, child posture. So many variations of Balasana also there. This is how we are relaxing. Now, again, switch on to Parantashayana Asana. Now, as usual, inhale, exhale, front. So, leg should be as much as we up. Press this palm, lift your leg up. Exhale. Other leg should not be disturbed. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Slowly. Bring your leg down. Now finally, sit back. Release. Back. Release. Back your leg. Release. Last time, inhale. Hold for a while. Exhale. Here ends the variation. So, Ananta Shainasana. Now, lie down on your Back again. Separate your legs. Relax for a while.
Okay, okay, we are going to do the rolling. Both legs together. Two. Three. Four. Try to make a bigger round. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Controlled movement. Ten. Stop the practice. All movements in the session should be controlled and perfect. Should be with the breathing. So now let's reverse. See, inhale. Exhale. When you lift your leg, you have to inhale. Then exhale. This practice is very good to reduce your abdominal girth also. Rowing, reverse rowing. You can feel the effect on your lower abdominal muscles. And as we have lifted our head up, it works for your upper abdomen also. If you can feel un uncomfortable, you can release your head. Last time, slowly release. Separate your legs. Join your knees, relax. Let's go. Over Muktasana now. This will be easy, very good complimentary for the Dhanurasana we did. Relaxes your back. Very good for digestion. To get rid of excess air in your tummy. Stay there. It brings glow on your face also. Less blood rushes to the face. Those who are having high BP or hypertension or heart problem, they can just release their head. Others can practice all Muktasana. Slowly release. Join your knees, separate your foot, relax. So you can. Just hold it like this and then try to touch your toes to the forehead. You can just to do beyond four legs. This. Move your leg right and left. And just relax your back, moving your legs right, left, folded leg lumbar stretch. This is a very good stretch in your lumbar region. Inhale up. Move your face accordingly. Exhale, look opposite side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. 
Let's see. It's a very good relaxation. Put your exerted back. So relaxing your back is very important in each session. You have to do this at the end of the session. Yes, sir. See. Pravita. Stretch your legs forward. Relax. In Shavasana. Corpse posture. Separate your legs. Let lose your whole body. Observe your abdominal muscle movement. Now your breathing is normal. You can practice deep breathing for five rounds. Deep inhalation. Slow exhalation. No, take a deep breath in, chant one akara. Uh... Chant one akara. Chantan Makara So, gently move your toes, fingers, and knee. Bring your legs together. Thanks to your body. Fold your left leg. Slide your right hand above. Turn towards your right. Put one leg on the other. Take one more breath. Slowly come out of. Show us in that. Sit in any comfortable posture. Let's practice a few pranayamas. For that, you can sit in any comfortable posture. I prefer to sit in Padmasana. It automatically makes my back erect. It calms down my mind. Let's first chant the pranayama shloka. Pranasidam Vashit Sarvam Triti Vayat Pratishtitam Mateva Putran Rakshasva Shrishcha Pratnaushcha Vidinaiti Pranasidam Vashit Sarvam Idam Sarvam Pranasya Vasham Whatever Living things exist in this universe are all the controlled by the prana. Prana sedam vidam sarvam prana syavasham tridive yat pratishtita in all three lokas tridive yat pratishtitam whatever exists pratishtitam exists in this whole universe will be under the control of prana. 
Mahateva Putra and Rakshaswa. See, we all creatures are your children. You have to protect us. Mata Eva. Mata Eva Putra and Rakshaswa. How to offer Shrischa. Shri means good thing. Pradnaushcha. Wisdom. Videhi Daiti. No means us just provide wisdom and then good things, auspicious things. That's what the meaning of this shloka. Let's start with Bhastrika today. So we can do with action. Inhale, exhale. Don't strain your hands. This is just for action. Stop the practice. You can just experience the feeling of Kevala Kumbhaka. Temporary holding of breath or cessation of your breath. You do not feel like inhaling or exhaling for few seconds. Just experience that. After so many asanas, you can feel your body very light, energetic. See now, let's resume breathing with yogic breathing. Adopt Brahma Mutra. Here you are, Brahma Sthana. Practice deep breathing for three rounds, that is yogic breathing, deep inhalation. Let close your shoulders, elbows, slow exhalation. Bring gentle smile on your face. You know, today let's practice Surya Anuloma Viloma and Chandra Anuloma Viloma Pranayama. Right nostril is Surya Nadi, left nostril is Chandra Nadi, Ida and then Pingana, both Nadis, Ida and Pingana. You have to practice breathing with single nostril. For that, you have to close your Right nostril with the thumb, adopt Nasika Mudra and then inhale and exhale through left only Chandra Anuloma Viloma Pranayama. Throughout the practice, right nostril should be closed. It is very good practice to calm down your mind and Chandra Nadi brings Sheetalata or calmness, coolness to your system. It's very good to bring down your BP level. Those who are having high BP, please practice this thrice a day, 5-5 five, five minutes. You can just feel the wonderful results. It's very good for the people who are having insomnia also. 
sleep disorder you start practicing daily it will calm down your mind also and it is very good in case of depression anxiety last time inhale and through exhale through left only stop the practice chandra anuloma viloma pranayama now we will practice surya anuloma viloma pranayama that is right nostril breathing completely inhalation and exhalation through right only but i just want to remind you people having hypertension or high bp please do not practice this right nostril breathing you can just practice the earlier one that is left nostril breathing others can practice surya anuloma viloma pranayama for that again adopt nasika mudra close your left nostril with the ring finger see so left hand chin mudra inhalation and exhalation through right only always you have to start with the exhalation this practice makes you alert as it is the surya nadi it produces heat in your body it helps in burning the calories also but it depends on how much you eat and then what you are eating do it as slow as possible as usual exhalation should be double the time of the inhalation Last time, right nostril breathing, Surya Anuloma Viloma Pranayama. Hari Vichuva Mudra. You can immediately feel the calmness of your mind. any type of deep breathing brings tranquility calmness next we'll practice anuloma viloma pranayama again left hand chin mudra right hand nasika mudra close your right nostril with the thumb start exhaling from the left inhale from the left exhale from the right inhale from the right exhale from the left alternate nostril breathing or nadi shuddhi pranayama or nadi shodhana pranayama anuloma viloma pranayama anyone can practice this at any time it balances all the activities of your body exhale through the nose inhale through the left exhale through the right stop the practice with the exhalation you do 
do not feel like opening your eyes also, that much of calmness you can experience with pranayamas. See, pranayamas is a must in each session or in each of your practices. Try to end up with pranayamas. It is all the pranayamas have wonderful benefits or impact on your body. So now let's practice gravity for that. Inhalation and exhalation through nostrils only. While exhaling, touch your tongue to the upper palate and then produce humming the sound. This is the preparatory practice for meditation. Those who are having time today, they can continue with the meditation. It is just the concentrating, slowing down your breath. So now Brahmani can adopt Shalmugi Mudra. Stop the practice immediately. Adopt Dhyana Mudra or meditative posture. Sit in silence. Relax your facial muscles. Try to slow down your breath. Concentrate in between your eyebrows, that is Atma Chakra. No. Let's end the session with the Omkara and then prayer. Take a deep breath in, chant one Omkara. Oh. Join your tongues. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhatrani Pashyantu Makashchit Dukha Bhagavi Om Shanti 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 Take back your hands, hold your wrists, inhale, exhale, bend forward, yoga mudra. Inhaling. Slowly come up, have your thoughts. Do farming, just a transfer that produce the heat to your eyeballs. Do not press. Take 
Thank you for joining.